day this is prophetess windy thank you so much for joining us happy 2024 i'm so excited about the new year a lot has changed as you can see i've gained weight it's not a secret amen why because during december time when you visit each and everyone's home people want to give you food you are eating you are at home you are enjoying the festives you are enjoying the holiday but this is a new year hallelujah we're gonna work on the weight hallelujah <laughs> we're gonna work i don't know a lot is changing in your life you can also comment down below to tell me what's changing but anyway we're not here to talk about the changes that we are experiencing in our body but we are here to talk about something very very important amen one thing about me ne? I don't want to come here and talk about stories that I don't know. I'm giving you the experience of things that I've experienced as an individual and also other people that were very close to me. So number one, before I start, how can I start this show without welcoming the subscribers? Amen. My returning subscribers, I thank you so much for your love, for your support. In 2024, you are still here. Amen. To my new subscribers, I want to thank you so much. For those that are thinking of subscribing to the channel, I want to thank you. We want to reach a thousand K this year. Help me reach 1000 K. Hallelujah. I really, really love and appreciate. God did confirm that we are going to reach 800 this year. So I believe in God and what he has said and the vision that he has given us for the channel. But nevertheless, want to speak about something very, very important. Né? To say that people can take your clothes and take it to a witch doctor to work on it. Or they themselves can take it to work on it for evil. Amen. I remember this particular time I was pregnant. I was carrying my second born. I visited a particular area. Yeah, I visited a particular area. We're doing something with my husband there. So when we visited that particular area, and then there was a shirt that I really loved with all my heart. Amen. So that shirt, when I was there, you know, when you pack your clothes, you know that I'm going to be here Monday, Tuesday. You know, if it's a business meeting, you know, I'm going to be there Tuesday, Wednesday. So I took my clothes. I knew what I had in that bag. So when I'm sleeping, God begins to reveal to me to say, hey, your shirt is missing. I mean, your T-shirt is missing. And I begin, in the, you know, sometimes when God speaks to you, to me, God speaks to me in visions. I'm that prophet where God speaks to me in visions. I'm not like Moses where God speaks to him face to face. I'm like Aaron and the prophet Miriam. Amen. God speaks to me through visions. So when I was sleeping, God says to me, your shirt, somebody took your t-shirt. And I God, why would somebody take my t-shirt? You know, when I woke up in the morning, I begin to check in that room. I begin to check and I'm like, but denial, you know, to say, hi, man, why will this particular person, that person, with that person, we know that person, we know who they are, they know themselves. So the person took that T-shirt, they took it to a witch doctor. The reason they took it to a witch doctor, they wanted me not to reach the full time of my pregnancy. They wanted the baby dead. If I can just be relevant, amen. They wanted the baby dead. And I'm telling you, I had complications with that pregnancy. But the person, because God was with me, he begins to reveal this thing to say that you are not going to give birth in your full term when it comes to this pregnancy. But nevertheless, God says nothing will happen. Why? Because I have seen. Once God revealed, he's not saying wake up, go fight with those people. They say, yeah, just get through it. I saw you last night. You took my t-shirt. I want my t-shirt back. Amen. So I didn't fight with a particular person. I just understood my shirt is gone. Then I came back this side. Something was telling me. Maybe I left it here. Began to check. I could not find anything. The second story that I want to share. It was my mother-in-law. Years ago, somewhere, she was somewhere. She said that, you know, you know when you hang your clothes. When you hang your clothes. She hang her clothes. Then after hanging her clothes, one of her head was gone, missing. Then she was like, ah, Mara, I believe I washed it with the clothes. She could not find it. Then God revealed to her, somebody took this thing. She said, she looked. You know when you look, when you love something, you look everywhere. You even under the bed. Even in places where you cannot, you know for sure, well, this thing cannot be there. But she said, I checked everywhere. I could not find this thing. She said, she did washing after some time. And hang it again. When she hanged the washing again, I, that thing was there with the washing. This is the new washing. <laughs> but she said, the funny thing, when I'm looking at my head, it's like 
it has been cut at the corners cut cut you know when somebody has worked on the thing mm. then i ah, she said i said what did you do did you throw away the the head she said i loved it so much i did not throw it away what i did i prayed over the the head and then when she prayed over the head the person came after some days they were shocked ah, are you still here and she's like yeah i'm still here I don't remember telling you that I'm going somewhere, amen, <laughs> going home or going somewhere, amen. And the person is like, they can't believe that she's still alive, amen. <laughs> or they can't believe that she's still in her rightful mind. Because I get this thing, they do it for different reasons. Sometimes they want to make you to be crazy. Sometimes they just want to kill you. Sometimes they just want to bring that spirit. When people look at it, they just feel like they don't like you, <laughs> amen. So my mother-in-law says, but the way she was so surprised that I'm still alive. Then she said that they confirmed because she's a witch. Ah, but they, they confirmed because she's the biggest witch. There's no way we can do that ritual and nothing happens. And she's still alive if she's not one of the biggest witches in the planet. What happened? Amen. <laughs> so it did not work. So what am I saying? It's possible. The last one that I want to share is a very, very, very close friend of mine. I cannot share names, ne? Because people know my friends, that people who might know this person. But this friend that I'm talking about for you who know me, it's a friend that you don't know, but we are friends. So that lady came to me. She said, Prophetess, I had a visit. You know, when you get married, you find that maybe the, 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 somebody in that family, they don't want you. Maybe they had somebody in mind whom the brother is supposed to marry. So she says they visited the house. After visiting the house, what she has noticed is her undergarment, her underwear. Let me put it like that. <clears throat> she says when she noticed good, that part of her clothing is missing, then she, you know, sometimes we have that thing of saying, maybe they just don't have. But she said when I look at their body and my body, it's not the same size. So when she told the husband, the husband was like, no, you can't, you can't be, you know, my relatives, they are my relatives. I don't think they will do something like that. She says, no, man. So the first time it was missing, they came back. When they came back, <clears throat> nothing happened. They didn't bring it back, that thing. So I know the husband is like, okay, this time, this time, I think both the husband and the wife saw why indeed something was taken. And they, they want the undergarment. I don't know why, what they want to do. Maybe they want to break up this happy home. I don't know. So when they, I get now they must bring back what they took. Now, when they come back, it's like they want to take another thingy from the room. When she's not there, I get away of this thing when we have visitors, more especially our family members, she can't lock every room. Sometimes they would call from work to say, auntie, please, um, Go to my room, check this statement for me. Or give me one, two, three from my bedroom. I need this while I'm at work, you know. We need to be free with each other. But it was not like that. That time the husband just saw, ah, this time I think I know what you are saying. This person is playing, playing some game that we don't like. And it's not a good game, it's an evil game. So what am I saying? It's possible. Sometimes some of us who don't even care, don't even know your clothes, your bed. You need to know your clothes because there are people who are in a mission to come and destroy your family or to destroy you as an individual. I remember the last story that I want to share. It's a colleague of mine, this one. I've got a lot of colleagues. Don't ask me which one. So that colleague of mine came to me and said that she is finding it hard to get married. It is the only daughter that the parents love that are waiting for, the, for good things in her life to happen. But she's struggling to get married. She was asking me to pray with her. Then she said, while she was praying with this other prophet, he reveals to say that, mm. and it's a relative, a close relative that took, you know, when they took, you know, when you are a baby, there's those uh, baby groans, you know, those things of children. Uh, they took that one. They went and walked in it. I don't know whether they dig a hole and they begin to speak. Pella, this witchcraft, sometimes they just speak things to say, you'll never get married. You'll never get anywhere. Uh, and they, 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 when the child, the child was a miracle baby in that family. But that child, it seems like nothing is going well with that child. Delay of marriage and so forth. I prayed. She cried when she found out. How can somebody do this? 
I sometimes denial, you know, when they tell you your auntie, like, oh, not my aunt. And then when she confronted the person, the person make a confession. They want forgiveness. Now, I'm going to it's been years. The problem that I have, they can't reverse what they did. <laughs> Amen. They know how to do this thing and ask somebody to do it for them, but they can't reverse it. Amen. They've said it. They've said it. It's only God who can reverse these things. So nevertheless, just to make you aware, because certain things like that, it does happen. But don't be afraid. And don't confront people. You look like a crazy person saying, Yeah, I was get through that. I saw you last night. You took my earrings. You go and worked on them. You're not going to kill me. Now you start posting status. I know I'm hard to die. <laughs> you know, those kind of things. You can't kill me just like that. Now you're talking to the wrong people. People are being offended. People are afraid to visit your house. <clears throat> Sorry about that. People are now afraid to visit your house because of the things that you are doing there. Uh -uh, the battle is not yours. It belongs to God. Like I've said, when God reveals, it's not for you to fight with people, but it's for you to be aware. Like my mother-in-law says, I am aware. I know what she did. And she knows what she did. Amen. That's why she comes now and say, eh, even after what we did, then she goes around telling people, that one is a witch. That one is a witch. You see those kind of things. So what am I saying? When God reveals something to you, you need to pray about it. Even your clothing, pray for them. Pray for your clothing. <clears throat> because they can be stolen at any given time. People are desperate out there to use whatever that they can find to destroy. I, their mission is to kill, to steal, to destroy. They are not in our team. They hate to see us progressing in life. They want that delay in our lives. But God says, mm -mm, not my daughter. Nevertheless, it was just to make you aware. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.